Hey, what's going on guys? Thank you very much for coming today. As you can see by the title, this review is all about the Be Excellent GM-1 gaming headset. Guys, I was sent this a couple of weeks ago and unfortunately the, the actual review itself, this video, is actually running a little bit late. So first of all, I'd love to apologize for that. I know you've been expecting it and I'm sorry, I just, I, I've been really, really busy at the moment trying to sort out my Minecraft server and other little bits and pieces, you know, with family life. So without further ado, let's get on and actually talk about the headset, shall we? So the headset itself, I have found, is a little bit uncomfortable. Um, the reason being, it just seems to be a little bit too tight for my head. And the cushioning's actually all right on the ear and over the top of the head. It just seems to be a little bit too tight in the overall um, shape of the actual headset the sounds are mediocre uh, there's not enough not loads and loads of bass there and the actual highs are a little bit washed out as well a little bit tinny and um, so unfortunately it's not the I wouldn't go out and hurry out and buy it or something and um, but to be honest it is a very very nice cheap wall hanger um, I had, you know, with me, I loved to be able to get a really, really good mix of bass and a good mix of mediums and highs. So, you know, so you can actually hear everything around you. But unfortunately, this headset doesn't quite make touch them buttons for me. Looks wise, it is absolutely beautiful. So that's why I mentioned the wall hanger, because it is a beautiful headset to display. Um, but to be honest, for a child with or someone who doesn't really want ultra mega hearing when they're playing their first person shoot em ups, then these will be absolutely brilliant. I did try them with Forza um, and with the club on the PS4. They w the headset worked without a, any hitch to get them working onto the PS4 and the Xbox One. They sounded absolutely brilliant for racing games. Um, so that being said, normally when a headset is really good for racing games, it's normally quite good for RPGs and strategy games. So all is not lost, but for a first person shoot them up, I would probably spend my money elsewhere. So overall, I'd probably give this headset maybe a 3.8 not quite four because the sound is just not what i was expecting um especially from a company that's actually got quite a good reputation it's a bit of a letdown and it is not as comfortable as i hoped so guys that's all we have for this video i'm afraid so uh thank you very much for coming if you would like to go and buy this headset just you can obviously use it for your racing games or something then obviously the link will be in the description below so if you did like this video, don't forget to hit that like button, guys. I really appreciate your support, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.